Today is a day for a new beginning, so get going. Let us explore the wonders of the universe. I am Trisha de Truga, Report 4, Astronomical Studies of the Ignitions. Longest solar eclipse of the 21st century. Last July 22, 2009, Wednesday, a total eclipse of the sun transpired. It happened for exactly 6 minutes and 39 seconds and initiated in the east of India. It continued to be visible to China and then to Japan. It was extra long because of providential twist of fate. On the sad date of the eclipse, the Earth was its farthest point from the sun. A small sun means that the moon can cover it longer. Many people scrutinized the one-time life experience, like in the countries of Nepal, China, Japan, Bangladesh, and Myanmar made rain or shine. Do you know that eclipse is a cosmological event when one heavenly object moves into the shadow of another? There are two kinds of eclipses, the solar and the lunar. When the moon's shadow intersects the Earth's surface, it's a solar eclipse. While when the moon moves into the shadow of the Earth, it's a lunar eclipse. GDG! Thank you to your son for that very astonishing report you got there. Hmm. Smell of space. After some time in space, rookie astronauts were surprised about the smell of the cosmos. It's an indefinable smell. It's like metallic, a pleasant, sweet metallic sensation. And that was the statement of the rookie astronauts. They said that it was a very weird smell. It's something akin to the smell of ozone and gunpowder. Only three rookies were on board. For some, it's just a short trip aboard the shuttle, which blasted off last first week of September. It has been said that it was sort of an orbital small gas board that comprised food from Japan, Russia, USA, Canada, and Europe. They were said to have a 13-day mission to deliver fresh supplies and new science gear to the station. They also delivered a treadmill worth $5 million. And that's all here in SMA main office. I am Francis Cabrera, reporting for ASA. Back to you, Tisha. Thank you, Francis, for that very informative report. On the other hand, NASA launches new technology, an inflatable YouTube. For more knowledge and this news, here is Kirsten McCarrie at the NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia. Kirsten? Yes, Trisha. Inflatable aircraft are not a new concept. Hot air balloons have been around for two centuries, but it's too hard to conceive of an inflatable spacecraft. Last August 17, 2009, the researchers from NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, launched a small sounding rocket, together with a new technology, an inflatable heat shield. This new technology aims to slow and look after re-entry vehicles as they glare through the atmosphere at hypersonic velocity. It looks like a mushroom when it's inflated. Engineers say that the idea could help land bigger objects on Mars. According to Neil Cheekwood, the project's principal investigator, I quote, we'd like to land more mass on Mars, unquote. He also said that this perception has been around for 40 years, but there were technical issues. But since that materials have advanced and because of countless Mars missions, including rovers, landers, and orbiters, there's more knowledge about the Martian atmosphere. The inflatable re-entry vehicle experiment is an example of NASA showing the future of aeronautics. That's all Trisha here at NASA's Langley Research Center. Whatever, Yaya. You're such a loser, talaga. Nagi emote ka na naman dyan. Ano ba ang problema mo? Eh, kasi naman na, Jelena. Magkilik siya na naman ngayong taon. Kung hindi ko ang gusto yung boto ko, ang dami naman kasi yung pwede. Kung hindi ako lalo sino, ano gaya ang Jelena? Whatever, Yaya. Maherap ba yun? Eh, boto mo kaya kung sino yung matapang. Tapang? Yung may pagpamahal sa bayan? Ang mamahal sa bayan. May kredibilidad? Kredibilidad? At magaling. Magaling. 
Kok oh, anjing lena? Ada orang kain mo. Miniature flares responsible for sun's heating of the atmosphere. Solar physicists at NASA have authenticated that small abrupt ruptures of heat and energy, called nanoflares, are accountable for the sun's atmosphere to reach a million of degrees. Here's Janila Garan at the Rojas Boulevard. Janila. Yes, Trisha. I am here at the Rojas Boulevard and I'm waiting for the beautiful sunset. With me is Ms. Ivy Santiago, a solar physicist of NASA. Good day to you, ma'am. Good day to you. Last August 17, 2009, the solar physicists of NASA confirmed that the flares are responsible for the heating of the sun's corona. First of all, ma'am, what is the sun's corona? Uh, the sun's corona is a type of atmosphere of the sun that extends millions of kilometers in the cosmos. It comes from the lunar crowd. It may be seen in a total solar eclipse and also discernible in a car. Okay, so ma'am, can you please explain to us on how these flares burst to cause a large amount of difference to some parts of the sun's atmosphere? Sure, nano flares are small abrupt ruptures of heat and energy. They occur within miniature strands that are bundled together to form a magnetic tube called the corona loop. And the ultra hot plasma is widespread in the solar active regions of the sun. And this temperature could only be produced by magnetic energy burst. So overall, it's a natural phenomenon, and the corona heating is a dynamic process. Okay, so ma'am, can you please explain to us on how this plasma evolves within these coronal tubes? Oh yes, we made a theoretical model, we made it is based from a certain theory, and we replicate a burst of heating and we scrutinize on how the corona evolves. Thank you, ma'am, for being with us. Back to you, Trisha. Thank you, Janila, reporter from Ross Boulevard. NASA celebration. Chandra celebrates his 10th anniversary. Chandra was first launched last July 23, 1999. Because of this, it opened a new era for science as Chandra opens a mysterious and superb universe. Chandra enables scientists all over the world to obtain standard extra images of exotic environments to help them understand the evolution of the cosmos. It doesn't just help them to analyze these inscrutabilities, but it serves as a sole instrument to examine detailed physics in a laboratory that cannot be duplicated on Earth. Chandra's findings are genuinely astonishing and have made histrionic changes to our interpretation of the universe and its constituents. ASA will be back. Good day. Life time is by the isang kaibigan. Isang kaibigan na malupi sa ating puso. Magandang umaga, Senador. Magandang umaga, big boy. Magdalas ko po makausap ang iyong nanay. At sabi niya sa akin, Madalas ka daw nakatingin sa bintana at nakadulala. Alam mo kasi, boy, mada, madami daw natin dito ang pulo. Diba ko po ganda ang pulo kung ganda din yung mga pulo? Oo, Senador. Isang prangkahang tanong, Senador. When was the last time you cried? Umayak uh, ko ba kayo? Uh, alam mo kasi, boy, hindi, hindi na yung nag-iisipan pa. Si Boy, 